do you think KD will play next season? I think I'm going to surprise you guys, and I'm going to say Brooklyn. <laughs> All right. Look, the Nets are not – they're not in a rush to trade KD. They're just sitting there waiting for the, the offers to come in, and they want to be blown away. All right? Uh, they want a, a haul of draft picks like Utah got for Rudy Gobert, and then some. Because if Utah got five first-round picks for Rudy Gobert, how many do the Nets want? All right? Then they want a young star or two. Okay? And they understand that they have the leverage, right? KD is, has four years left on his deal. They don't have to move him, all right? And they understand, too, they, they believe this, you know, it could change, but they don't think KD is the type of guy to sit out, especially at 34 years old, which will be in September. You know, he loves basketball too much to just go Ben Simmons on him and, and just sit out. At least that's the thinking. So they want to be blown away by an offer. And, guys, they're not bottoming out. So they're not looking just for a bunch of draft picks and bad players on one-year deals. They are looking to compete. So these moves that they're making are to be a good team. T.J. Warren that they just signed as a free agent. Uh, uh, Royce O'Neal. Those are great pickups if you've got Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and Ben Simmons with his mind engaged. All right, and then Patty Mills and Nick Claxton. So I'm not saying they are definitely not trading KD, but I don't know that they'll get the blowaway offer that it's going to take to move KD. Uh, you, you, and, and some teams, as great as Kevin Durant is, there are teams that are like, okay, he is, he's great, but he's 34 years old or will be in September. He's played 90 games in the last three years. So that's why a Minnesota would not not only give up Anthony Edwards, which I think we all would understand, they wouldn't give up Carl Anthony Towns. All right, so now what kind of deal are you getting that's going to blow you away? Remember, there is a long list of players, young stars that the Nets would want that can't be traded to Brooklyn as long as Ben Simmons is on the roster. And Ben Simmons right now is untradeable. I'm talking about uh, Donovan Mitchell. I would want Donovan Mitchell. I think Utah's going to trade him uh, at the deadline uh, or next summer. I would want him in a KD trade. Jason Tatum, can't have him. Uh, uh, Devin Booker, why am I talking to Phoenix? Like, what do you... It's got to be three or four team deals for these teams. They're not that interested in Ayton. DeAndre Ayton. So if I can't get Devin Booker, I'm not really interested in Phoenix. Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., Trey Young, De'Aaron Fox, uh, Shea Gilgis Alexander, Bam out of Bayou. He, they can't get him. What's Miami going to give me? So, look, I think he'll be in Brooklyn. I mean, I could be wrong, but reading what's, going, what's out there, I, I think they need to be patient, and I think he'll be in Brooklyn. Mm. Well, now that you told me about all these other guys with rookie contracts, I think Andrew Wiggins signed the max rookie yeah. deal. So he can't be included in the trade Same thing, to, go, yep. to go to Brooklyn. So now <laughs> so basically, right. you can get Jordan Poole, you can get Wiseman, Kaminga, and, and some draft picks. And as you mentioned, and that's what Skip and I was talking about earlier, I said, if you look at the draft hall, that Minnesota... Now, Skip and I both think Minnesota was foolish to give up all that for Rudy Gobert. For Kevin Durant, I'm going to need the Eiffel Tower. I'm going to need the Louvre. I'm going to need the Champs-Élysées. <laughs> and I'm still going to need four or five dra- first-round draft pick and pick swaps <laughs> if you want Kevin Durant. And I'm going to want a guy that I was thinking maybe Jalen Brown, Grant Williams, and some draft picks to Boston to pair him up with Jason Tatum. Okay. And, you know, you got Brogdon now, and you still got Robert Williams, the man down the fort on the inside. And you still have Al Horford that can stretch the four, who's also a nice big. I thought that would be a good deal, but it seemed... Now, I'm, Jason Tatum, Boston is not including Jason Tatum in any deal. I do think Jalen Brown is more of a, a, a... They would include Jason Tatum in a deal, but for me, I still think it's Golden right. State. I, I, I think they would take uh, Poole, Woo. Kaminga, Wiseman, and three first-rounders. But, as you mentioned, it's, uh, uh, Chris, that's the only team that has players and draft picks to Agreed. appease what the Nets want. 
Nobody else have anything. They got uh, uh, car parts. They got bottle caps. They, man, they, come on. They got they got uh, uh, loofers and squeegees. Nobody else has anything but what Golden <laughs> State can offer them. Mm. But I just want to know why he walking out. That's a good mm. one. Mm. I want to know why yeah. Skip got the best player on the world. He's leaving again. Pick this really? ball up and leaving again, uh, Skip. Sounds like LaShannon Sharp is trying to <laughs> Uplift LeBron James <laughs> as Kevin Craters. Right? I did I did not mention LeBron James's <laughs> name. You know, that's what this is all about. Chris Broussard, back to you. Back to my initial opinion <laughs> sitting right here in this chair on this show. I am 1,000% with you and then some. Because if I owned and operated the Nets right now, I might try to placate Kevin a little bit by saying, oh, we're open right. to offers. I might listen and I might not let any offer even go through my ears into my head because <laughs> you, you can't replace him. No. He's just too good. He can do things nobody's ever been able to do before. So you can give me all those Kamingas <laughs> and all those, those draft picks and all those You don't want your pool. Yeah, and, and, and again, they're, they're, they're all nice players. They all got their abilities. Yeah, but, yeah. but in the Man, end, KD. you just can't replace Kevin Durant. You have him, as Chris just pointed out, for not two years or three years. You have it for four years. What are we talking about? What has become of my Nas National Basketball Association? It's starting to sour me on the game I love the most. It it's starting to <laughs> haunt me that superstars can just say, ah, I've had enough of Kyrie. I'm out. Right. I want to go to send me to Phoenix. Really? Yeah. You, you can just snap your fingers? Well, James <laughs> just snapped his fingers Get me to Brooklyn. Snapped his fingers. Get me to Philly. Oh, okay. We'll do that. Right? right? Yeah. Kyrie thinks he can snap his fingers and go to L.A. Oof. I don't know. So if, if I'm owning and operating, I'm with you, Chris. I'm telling Kevin, I'm sorry. You're under contract. I honored the first year of the contract with you. Well, actually, the first three years. Right. But, but now we're about to go into right. an extension. And I honor, because you're going to honor, you're going to play for the Nets. <laughs> Kyrie, you just opted in for whatever it is, 36.7. 36 uh, guess what, young man? You're going to play with Kevin, whether you like it or not. And there's this guy, Ben Simmons. I think he might be physically healthy. I'm not sure about psychologically, but you guys are going to figure out how to play with him because he's really good. It seems to me they're not too enthused about playing with Ben Simmons. I don't know how you gauging it, Chris, but it doesn't seem like either player is enthused yeah. with playing with Ben Simmons. Okay, but they did add Royce O'Neal and they just added T.J. Warren T.J. Warren and Patty Mills back. Okay, yeah. my point is that they appear to be gearing up for another championship run. Yeah, that right. right? Yeah. Okay, so why not? Right. I, I'm with you, Chris. Again, pat Kevin on the head. We're trying over here. No, in the end, you're going to be a <laughs> net. Because without Kevin Durant, the nets are the knots. But you, hold on. But before we go, Chris, you just told me at the beginning of the show that K KD was tired of Kyrie's bull jive. Well, who isn't? <laughs> okay. But, and then they fired again. some guy that he worked with, that some guy that he had in the front office, that they fired him, and yep. he's upset about that. Okay. I'm sorry. Tough toenails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Suck I it mean, up, look, huh? there's not a where where is he going that's better than the Nets right now? Other than Golden State, right? Th 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 he wouldn't have a better shot winning anywhere but Brooklyn outside of Golden State. Agreed. That's it. We will see. Time will tell, gentlemen. Chris, thanks so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.